This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We've got Jam on the channel of Jam Jam Cards UK. Look at that t-shirt. If you want to get yourself a nice discount on their cards, go to the link in the description. Use code Rufio15 for 15% off some Yu-Gi-Oh singles. Anyway, now that we've got the obligatory pun out the way, uh, we've got Jam on the channel who's bringing us his Ignista deck. This is one that he's been using at Locals for a little while and it's brought him probably the most success you've had with the deck. The most Quite success I've had in any, with any deck for yeah. a long time. Been smashing Locals, only really one person he loses to apparently, repeatedly. I lost to Protoss against one person a couple of times. Yeah, there you go. But anyway, it's been doing it really fun, well. Man. And luckily, it doesn't change too much of the new format, but he does have like one extra card really yeah. that changes. Yeah, one new card. So I thought I'd bring it to you anyway, so we've got an updated list here. I was going to bring it to you before, but it made sense away for the new list, and well, it doesn't change all that much. So, shall we get stuck into the profile? Yeah, sure. Okay, whenever you're ready. So this is predominantly a going second build, um, which focuses around the access code, so take that into account once you look at the uh, ratios. But I play three Chi Chi, best card of the deck, starts your entire combo, uh, this guy can make two access codes on his own. Um, and then three Picari, which does exactly the same thing. This guy searches a spell, which searches this. This guy searches this. Simple. Simple as that. Uh, I play one Hayare, which can special summon itself. It can also tribute another card you control to search a level 5 or higher in this stuff. Um, so it can search Kachiri, which can also special summon itself. And when it leaves the field, it makes card unaffected. So you, you, if you make access code and then make this leave the field, you make access code unaffected. Uh, play one boy on, which is a monster reborn. Uh, when you summon it, you add an Ignista back to uh, from grave to hand, and when it goes to grave for a link summon of a Cybus monster, you can add an AI spell or trap back from grave to hand. I just want to apologise about any noise in the background, guys. You are recording not our locals, so hopefully you can hear everything okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And the only other Ignista I play is a Baruru, which dumps a card from the deck to the grave um, when it's summoned, and when it's uses a synchro it can summon it used to synchro it can summon the other material back from the grave so you use this guy and Doyon to make the synchro 7 and then you can summon the Doyon back it's the winning Pegasus right yeah, yeah. Um, and then this is a very very spell heavy deck so I'm playing uh, 3 a uh, AI meet you I meet you which searches fire I can't search light anymore. Uh, I can't search light anymore, but I can search fire, I can search wind, I can search earth. Um, I've taken light uh, searcher out. Um, I play three sign at mine in, which searches any Ignista, uh, pretty much. So start, combo starter. Play one of the old reborn, one of the new reborn, because you know having two reborns that are searchable are fantastic. You can add them back, you can reuse them. Being able to reborn twice in the same turn is pretty broken. Uh, I play two of the field spell because although you want to see it, there's so many different ways to search it. And it recurs itself it, as well. It recurs itself from the grave. It's it's a pretty broken card, but the going second build doesn't necessarily need to use this because a lot of the time you're just making an access code, breaking a board and killing them. Um, which you can do without island. You just use the uh, the Hayare to make splash, etc. Um, then we play one terraform in. And because we're playing Terraforming, and this is probably the most broken card in any deck, Mystic Mine. Oh, yeah. Um, sitting on a 6k towers, out a 6k towers with Mystic Mine on the field. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. um, also, going second, um, that breaks boards. Mm -hmm. A lot of decks just put out, monster, uh, put out monsters to negate your stuff. Get um, Mystic Mine them, and they're done. <laughs> One call by for Droll. This is the only thing we ever really use this on, Droll. And you just got to be lucky to see it. Uh, triple droplet because droplet is insane. Um, like you can't play a deck without droplet right now. Um, two chalice because three droplets isn't enough. Um, 
one duster for the back row, uh, two cosmics for the back row. Uh, I play cosmics because of Scythe, uh, because of, well, the old format was because of Imperial Order, but now anti spell, I guess. Uh, it also is very good against um, the Heavenly Dra uh, Lord because it doesn't destroy, it banishes. Which I guess there's some consideration for maybe likes of evenly and things could be options as well, just depending on how you want to play it, right? But definitely, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't particularly want to play evenly because want to I want to kill them. Um, and then I play two Lightning Storm because, you know, we hate back row, so let's get rid of it. Most of the time, though, I feel like I'm using this on monsters. Uh, I don't often use it on back row. Yeah. But everybody seems to leave things in attack, uh, and then you lightning storm them, and then droplet them, and that's game over. Yeah. Um, I play one Regeki, and then I play a second one, because it's now at three. Yeah. Um, so like lightning storm for the front row. Definitely lightning storm for the front row. <laughs> Apart from it doesn't care if they're in attack or not. Um, <laughs> And then for the traps, I play one ray reboot yep. because yep. Imperm sucks and traps suck. And then Imperm because Imperm sucks. Yep. Uh, it's like this is the only hand trap I play in my deck because I think it's the most impactful going second. It certainly is. It doesn't lose to talents. And it, the, the only other one I would play would be Nib, but leaving the token on the uh, leaving the Nib on the field is actually a pain for this deck. Yeah. There's ways around it, but it causes so many issues. Uh, now onto the extra deck. Uh, so we play the one synchro win Pegasus. This guy, when it's summoned, it can pop back row. So if you go second, you summon it with, uh, and then summon Doyon back. You've already automatically got two pops for the back row. Or if you go first and you get Imperm, then you can red reboot their Imperm, and then summon this guy and Doyon, and you can pop the Imperm and whatever they set. So the first effect is really good. The engrave effect, just banish it when one of your cards is popped, and it sends a card back to their grave, uh, back to their hands, sorry. Uh, then we play two of the Dark Infant. Um, this guy, when it's summoned, can search field spell. And when a 2300 attack Ignis uh, monster you control uses its effect, you can move it to the zone it points to and change its effect. So I always call Divine because it's just easier yeah. as I play all the other attributes and it doesn't conflict in any way. Then we play two Splash because Splash is insane. Um, this enables you to just go into access code off of uh, an Achichi with a uh, through draw. Yep. Because you can go Achichi, Search Hiare, Spec, Make Splash, Summon Back, Make Trans Code, etc. etc. Yep. Uh, it's also part of the main combo if you are made to go first and you do want to make the 6k guy because it summons back to make your synchro. Sure. Um, and we play one Cybus Wicked. This is purely for going first. Um, although saying that I do use it quite often going second because you can do the same combo you just end on double access instead of 6k towers uh, when something summed to the zone is points to banish a card from your grave and search a tuna so search Baruru with that then we play one update jammer this card is insane do not forget to put it in your list uh, if this leaves a field you can make that monster that's linked with it double attack uh, for that turn, um, which is not once per turn. So you can make two double attack access codes in the same turn by using update twice. Pretty good. Uh, Skip the Dragon, because it's the only thing we really play to get rid of annoying monsters on our field. Uh, if we get a token summoned to our field, like if we get Nib, for example, uh, or if we're playing against Dinos, this only requires two monsters specifically. It also has a good effect where if it's co-linked, you can just bounce a card on your opponent's field back to their hand. So the amount of times you just bounce a Protoss or you can bounce a, a Cheng Ying or whatever you want to bounce. Uh, bounce is a problem card so you can kill them. Uh, we play one Fire Phoenix just so we can search the Fire Guy. Uh, I summon this once every six weeks. Transcode Talker because you know, it just summons a monster back, makes access code off of one card. Uh, Dark Templar. This guy's soul charges when a monster is summoned to the zone it points to. So you summon the link one, move it, and then summon three more, and you've automatically got five monsters on the field, which is two double attack, ac oh, sorry, two access codes, one of which is double attack, without an extender. Uh, Mech Knight Crusader Avramax. This, I'm not going to lie, it's for Protoss. Um, I'm. Protoss isn't in the game anymore, so I'm probably not going to play it anymore. Um, I'll probably swap this back for... It's a bit of a flex spot, really, isn't yeah. it? It's not like... 
Yeah. You've got different options. I, I'm probably going to put the uh, light Pegasus uh, light guy back in so that I can search light. Yeah. But at the moment, like this out problem card, uh, it's also really good in the mirror match. Um, when that comes up. <laughs> it does come up occasionally. There is one elbow guy here that plays the uh, Ignisers. Yeah. Uh, he plays the guy in first version, so. Um, double axis code. Best card in the deck. Um, I make two of these in the same turn almost every game. Um, you can also make this under Mystic Mine. You can literally make it under Mystic Mine, pop their board, and then overlay, your, uh, uh, tag out your Mystic Mine for your field spell and kill them. It's, it's just... It's pretty good. Axis Code, best card. Um, and one arrival, I only ever make this if I'm made to go first. And even then, 80% of the time I don't get to it because hand traps exist. Um, if they don't stop it, you're probably winning that game. If they don't stop it, you know, you, you win. But, because he's near enough always making 6k. There's always a way to search the sick material you need to make him 6k. Yep. Um, and nobody really plays Kaiju. Yep. Uh, now to the side deck. Three Rivalry is a must of in this deck because if you do make a rival, Rivalry stops this from being Kaiju and it basically stops your opponent from doing anything. Is that fingerprint rare? <laughs> of course it is. Sure. Gotta beat your opponents in style even if you're ruining their day. <laughs> and then 3D barrier because you know you go if you're made to go first in certain decks. Or well, some decks you just choose to go first against because they lose heavily to set, like your deck. Yeah. Um, for example, Prank Kids. Prank Kids loses heavily to this deck if I go first, um, but they beat me quite often in second. Um, the barrier shuts down a lot of those decks. Uh, three draw because I I very rarely slide these in. They're in, they're good cards, but the decks is good against so it's insane, right? The decks they're good against are insane, but. Do I really need them? I, it'll I be interesting for the new format, won't it? How much it comes up. Yeah, I'm probably going to swap these for like even leaves or something for when I play against the back rows because Eldritch is going to be everywhere. Uh, three Lancia. This is mainly for um, Sword Soul matchup. If I make 6k towers against Sword Soul, they're only out to it. Is is it Chen Ying or Qi Zhao? One of the other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The one that needs lots of banish cards, so if you just lance to them, they can't banish anything. Well, I mean, there's loads of other decks as well. Like, obviously, Phantom Knight's going to be big next format as yeah. well. Yeah, it's really good against a lot of decks, because that was the main reason I put it in, because yeah. there's a lot of sorts of uh, locals. Um, but, you know, this is a very, very versatile card against a lot of decks. And then to finish it off, we have one Nib, the other Cyclone, and the other Lightning Storm. Um, Nib was purely because I had one flex spot, and I didn't really know what to put in. Um, yeah, Lightning Storm and Cyclone for when I play back, get the back roof. Yep, fair enough. Okay, well, first of all, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. We really appreciate it. Any, anything that you, um, oh, I mean, you've covered most of it, right? Anything that you might change going into early format? Uh, the only things I'm looking at changing is if back row becomes as prevalent as we're expecting, I'll have to put in things like even these, maybe hatred aids. Yeah, we talked about um, that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, uh, and obviously, Avramax might be coming back out for Light Ignister because Protoss isn't a thing anymore. Yeah. Um, otherwise, the only things I was losing to last format are gone now. So, that's so, a good sign. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. That's pretty good. Okay, cool. Any shout outs before we go? A uh, shout out to Mark at Manuscript Locals. Yeah. Um, best locals in the country. Um, and then I'm going to shout out the Jam Jam team because I'm not going to shout sure, out like, Jam Jam Cloud UK. Most of them are sat here, but adjusting that camera is not a good idea. Yeah. Um, um, we'll give a shout out to Carl for giving some of the Jam Jams uh, deck lists occasionally. Just a few but, of us, yeah. But, but don't give out um, their shout out. So I'll, gi I'll give them a shout out and I'll jump. <laughs> so, All right, once again, then, thank you very much for taking time to do the profile. Guys, remember if you want to get some Yu Gi Oh singles nice and cheap, link in the description. Use code Rufio15 for 15% off. Support this man. Support this man behind the camera here. Thank you very much for coming along. I'll see you in the next one.